pretty people so today I have decided to use a lot of the products I got in my Mecca um, in a Mecca box in a Mecca Cosmetica box this is a haul it's also a tutorial and um, sort of a review and but it's very a lot of these products I'm using at first impressions so I'll show you what I've got so I started off, so the first thing I got, which I plan to use in a different video, is the By Terry Terribly Denseless Foundation. This is the sample tube, it comes in a pump tube, a mini pump tube. Um, yeah, I, I have been reading up on some of these things. Some people like it, some people don't. I think they said 63% would repurchase this, but this is like 150 bucks, um, the full size. I don't know if I could bring myself to pay that. This is actually designed for mature skin, but I, for people who have fine lines under their eyes, I guess it's pretty good. The next thing I got was the Fair Skin, uh, yeah, from Bare Minerals in the shade Four Ivory. So the next thing I tried out, which I was so excited to try out, was the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue because I like glitter. I like glitter, guys. I next tried out the Urban Decay Brow Beater in Taupe. And the last thing in my box was the Ico Black Magic Mascara. And it's literally in a tube. Like, you know how you say, oh, this is the tube mascara, but this is literally a tube. So, I hope you get some insight and, you know, this will recommend what to buy and what not to buy if you... There's roadworks and stuff going outside the house. Um recommend what to buy and what not to buy if you because I some of these products are alright but some of them are questionable quality particularly the prices you pay anyway so on with the video alright so take this on I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. It's a brand new package as you can see, so this is the first time opening this. And it looks like that. I have the original, the, like the original Shadow Insurance. So I'm just going to put some of that on my fingertip. I will... Be seriously impressed if this holds up with my the way my eyes are shaped. It's like they get very oily throughout the day, and particularly when I am wearing glitter, it transfers like crazy. It's very tacky. Alright, so I am going to be taking a brown eyeliner pencil, this is from NP Set and it's in Mexico City and I'm going to map out where I'm going to put my cut crease. Now just remember I've got hooded eyes so cut creases don't usually fit my, um, don't really suit my, my eye shape but this is the perfect example, this is a perfect test for, sorry, for the glitter glue primer. So. I'm going to take it above the crease. It's actually very tacky to work with. I'm going to go over that with just the nudes here.
and even go over the brown just so it's easy to blend later. Now as usual I'm just taking this one Right, here's the part we've been waiting for, where the glue actually, actually adheres. So I'm using the Body Sparkles from England in 59, and this is the last thing you want to spill. Ah, little herpes. Again, this is why I do eyes before base. That was about as terrifying as that can get. I was just seeing glitter through my lashes. Now what, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be using Duraline in my, um, my eyeliner because it is drying up. You only want like two drops because... It works so well. That was about three. But. And you mix that all up. I do apologise by the way that the light is shocking because it's quite rainy and gloomy outside. The usual primer, this is the Inglot Corrective Primer Base Corrective in Yellow. I'm going to be using the sample of the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. The shade I have is Bare Ivory and I did open it, uh, admittedly I'm going to open it, I did open it just to colour test it. I think it's my tone. I am, um, this is probably like, looks perfect on camera, but I do find this doesn't have a lot of coverage, like it has some, it looks fairly natural, but for people who have a little bit of, and like, this is only damp, this isn't, this isn't really water it down or anything, it's quite a watery uh, formula. I still can see a lot of the redness, like around the cheek area. Um, and I can still see, again, the camera probably shows it perfectly, but I'm seeing what I can see in the mirror in front of me here. Yeah, there's still, I can still see the redness from some pimples. Oh, I'm not sure if I do like this. Okay, I'm gonna be doing a, um, 
gonna be using this contour pro palette from pro contour palette from designer brand it's only a cheap one I think I paid $18 for this I'm not sure if I like it yet I have used it a number of times mind you some over different powders um, not sure if I like the way it blends but I will try it out I don't know I'm not sure which colour suits me best yet I've been mixing these two You know what? I blend a little bit in my palette. For an $18 palette. I know it sounds weird, but I find the more fallout a product has, it kind of is easy to blend. You know what? I like to blend. I like how well it blends. I'm just gonna make it a slightly warmer, a slightly warmer tone to it. And then grab that powder brush. Using my favorite blush at the moment, this is the Fusion blush, and I hit pan. funny how some people say put it on the apples of your cheeks. I can't do that because I've got a really fat face. No, it's rounded face. Favourite highlight, this is from the Oh Hey Brow, this kit from Australis. I like those little light silvery light pink tones because I am so pale. Okay, brows now and I am trying out the Urban Decay Brow Beater, the Micro Fine Brow Pencil and Brush. I actually really like the shape of that brow today. Ooh, not what I want to do. Okay. This is really fine. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This does not draw all that well. It's not all that smooth. It's natural, if that's what you're into. I like mine a little bit darker. So it's good, yeah, it's good if you like it natural. Um, like an everyday look, but this is so crazy that you may as well just go all out. And mascara, which is the last sampler, which is the last product that I want to try out. I've seen Pixie Boo use it, so I have hope, high hopes for it. Come to the guitar pick, cool. Um, okay. This is the Ico Black Magic Mascara Drama and Curl, which is what I like. Oh, let's see. Do I'm getting the most out of curls. <laughs> I like this. I think. This is 
certainly my shorter lashed eye. Okay. I don't know if I... if it provides the drama like it says it does, but it certainly has a curl. I actually like the packaging though. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool that it's in a tube rather than, um, you know, the other types of tube. It's funny, like, you know they say a tube of mascara, but they, these, it's literally a tube of mascara. I think I'm gonna, I think I like that. Um, okay. Last two steps. Lashes and lips. Okay, that pretty people is the end of my tutorial slash first impressions slash review type video. So yeah, I thought I'd come up with a glitter cut crease look just to test out the glitter lash glue from Too Faced. Um, I haven't minded it. Just a, uh, you know what, I actually don't mind that at all. Like I was a little bit skeptical of whether it was going to work. The foundation sample I wasn't too pleased with at all, nor was I all that pleased with the Brow Beta from Urban Decay. It's good if you are looking for a just a very very natural brow pencil, but um, I like mine a little bit fuller. This would actually have been great in my bad blood video because Taylor Swift's brows are very natural. But it does go with the blonde hair. Um, the mascara was alright, like it didn't provide the the body that it that it claims to, but it did provide a little bit of curl, which I'm happy with. And I'm yet to try the other foundation I got. So that was my video. Thank you for watching. I hope you saw. Yeah, it is a good way of recommending. You know what to buy, not what to, what not to buy. My skin type, by the way, for those who have the same and wouldn't want to, um, you know, buy that foundation yourself. It's sort of a oilier side of combination particularly through the t-zone but I do like to really powder my cheeks when I'm using cheek products but yeah I'm quite oily especially through the t-zone so it's a very combination skin and obviously it gets dry in the winter but it is coming into summer um, here in Australia so that's my look thank you for watching and yeah I hope you have a wonderful day and stay classy kids